Miyazaki, Japan, home to some of the most scenic beaches in Asia and a popular place to test yourself against nature. For J-League champions Yokohama F. Marinos, Miyazaki is also the first port of call for a fresh start to take stock of the demands for the new season. Chased right to the wire, F. Marinos were only confirmed as champions on the final day in a captivating title race last November. The mastermind behind the club's fifth league title, his manager, Kevin Muscat. While F. Marinos are widely regarded as one of the favourites this season, the 49-year-old Australian knows there is no future in the past. Of course, at, at this stage, there's, everybody's talking about uh, winning titles. Uh, our focus is not about winning titles, our focus is on uh, preparing well uh, and making sure that uh, once we get to that first game that we're ready to perform our level of football. It's a mantra that has been drilled into the players. After all, scaling new heights always starts from scratch. え、F. Marinos's league success has courted global attention, and one of their key players, Tomoki Iwata, who was named the most valuable player, has moved to Scottish giant Celtic this season. For Muscat, this has presented the chance for others to step up to the plate. Our focus is on the players that are here and the players that can help us, and the quicker we get them integrated and the quicker the players that have been here step up to the next level, that is our focus, not worrying about players that uh, have moved on. We're very happy for, for Tomoki and uh, he, st he made his debut for Celtic, we're very pleased for him, but our focus is on integrating the new players and evolving the players that we had here. It's a focused mindset that's given the players the belief that they have the chance to make a difference to the team for the upcoming campaign. そうですね。as champions, F. Marinos will no doubt be under scrutiny this season. And their test on the opening week is against Kawasaki Frontali, the team that finished second last year. まあ、日本サッカーもそうですし、え、Of course, it's a, it's a game in the calendar now that everybody looks forward to, uh, you know, Marinos, uh, Kawasaki. But for us, it's, uh, I'm not thinking about that. I'm, I'm thinking about the preparation and, in, and getting the players uh, strong enough, physically, tactically aware uh, and mentally prepared. Uh, that's the focus. The good times are back at Yokohama F. Marinos. In an ever-competitive league, Nothing can be taken for granted. やっぱり優勝 
自然体でいることが一番いいのかなというふうにも思っているので、まあ、今年は今年、えー、昨年は昨年、えー、もう忘れるぐらいの気持ちで、今年に集中してやることが、まあ、一番いいかなとは思いますけど、ね。A J League é, um, é uma competição muito, muito forte. Né? O que eu tenho de, de experiência maior é para você jogar essa liga, você tem que estar muito preparado. Tem que estar sempre bem fisicamente, tem que estar 100% é, focado em dar o seu melhor. Se você não estiver preparado, você não consegue jogar. Porque é uma competição muito dura. Yokohama F. Marinos knows what it takes to get to the top. While it's a big challenge to reach the heights of last season, If they can replicate their exciting brand of football, it will take something truly special to stop them. Still in Miyazaki, we turn our attention to Yokohama FC's preparations for the upcoming season. The start of a new year always brings the promise of fresh hope. The Kanagawa-based club is back among the big boys in the J-League after finishing second in J2 last year. It's a swift return to J1 for Yokohama FC after being relegated in 2021. While the club is progressing in the right direction, they're not under any illusion about the size of the task ahead in this campaign. まあ、昇格するチームがやはり1年目残留するということが非常に難しいということはあの理解はしているのでまずメンタルのところでえしっかりとアグレッシブにえまあ受け身にならずにということが大事だと思いますしまあその上でえまあ自分たちのスタイルとして攻守にアグレッシブにやっていきたいと思っているのでまあそういった姿勢をまあ崩さずに。One of the key players in Yokohama FC's success back into J1 was Koki Ogawa. The 25 year old striker scored 26 goals to win the top scorer award and was also named the most valuable player in J2. And there is a burgeoning sense of determination reverberating throughout the squad. That they are ready to hold their own this year. I feel that they are not going to respect the situation. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to Yokohama FC have also added Vietnamese international Wen Quang Phong to their lineup. The 28 year old striker, who can also feature in midfield, first played in the J League back in 2016 with Mito Hollyhock before having stints in South Korea and Belgium. I và tôi nghĩ đây là một thời điểm mà tôi uh, rất là tốt để uh, đi ra uh, đến đây và tôi nghĩ là Yokohama thì tôi sẽ uh, bởi vì tôi đã đá những cái trận đấu đỉnh cao chẳng hạn như là năm ngoái Hoàng Gia Lai đá với uh, Yokohama F Marinos, uh, John Book Hyundai và Sydney thì tôi nghĩ đó là những kinh nghiệm để tôi có thể À, sử dụng cái kinh nghiệm này để công hiến cho đội bóng tốt hơn và tôi nghĩ là tôi có khả năng kiểm soát bóng cũng như là à, truyền bóng và có thể là dứt điểm hoặc là đi bóng và tôi sẽ sử dụng những cái tài năng của tôi để công hiến cho đội bóng. While Vietnamese flair is anticipated to add another dimension to Yokohama FC's game, those expectations will need to be tempered. First of all, to play in Japan, I think it's important to be 
まあ、広州両面にわたって自分が関わっていくっていう意識、まあ、そこが慣れれば、まあ、彼の攻撃の良さっていうことは十分通用すると思っているので、まあ、そこがまず大事かなというふうには考えています。Tôi nghĩ đó không phải là áp lực mà tôi nghĩ đó là một động lực để tôi phấn đấu từng ngày và tôi sẽ cố gắng thể hiện tốt nhất có thể và mục tiêu của tôi là và cố gắng à, hướng tới mục tiêu của tôi yeah. Xin cảm ơn This is the third time that Yokohama FC are back in J1 A lot will be demanded of them this season, and the manager prefers to keep it simple. まずは最低限として J1 残留というところを最低限に置きながら、まあ少しでもまあ躍動する姿をまあサッカーファンと横浜 FC サポーターの皆さんにお見せしたいと思っています。It may seem a modest target, but on their day, Yokohama FC are more than capable of troubling the best. Don't be surprised if they pull off some upsets along the way this season. From Miyazaki, we head further south to the island of Okinawa. It's a place blessed with beautiful beaches and even perhaps the ideal setting for personal reflection. Against the backdrop of a serene and diverse landscape, this is where Kawasaki Frontali have come together to recharge and push again for the new season. Toruoniki's charges came just short of a third consecutive J League title last year. As they finish second, two points behind champions Yokohama F. Marinos. Despite the setback, the experience has crystallized on Nikki's ambitions for the upcoming campaign. Yeah, but J League's no 優勝とあの奪還のところそこはもう欠かせないところだと思いますし、そこをあの軸にプラスでやっぱりいろいろなタイトル。すべてにこう全力で注ぎたいですしまたそういった中でね若手の選手が出てくることをそれはクラブとしてもあの必要なことだと思うのでそういうものも意識しながらやっていきたいなと思いますね。Losing out to Yokohama F Marinos on the final day may have provided a reality check but with four titles in six years there's no denying Kawasaki Frontali are the dominant force in the J League in recent times and the players A keen to get back to the top. そうですね。やっぱりフロンターレっていうチームは、えー、まあ本当今はもう優勝しないといけないチームになってきていると思うので、まあそこのチームで出るということは本当に、えー、絶対にチームを勝たせるっていう、えー、強い覚悟を持ちながらやらないといけないと思っているので、常にその気持ちは、えー、忘れないで、えー、絶対にチームを勝たせてあげる、勝たせてやるっていう気持ちを持ちながらプレーしています。เป้าหมายของพวกเราก็คือการที่เราจะกลับไปล่าแชมป์ให้ได้ถึงรู้มันอาจจะยากแหละแต่สุดท้ายแล้วทีมเราเป็นทีมใหญ่แน่นอนว่า mentality ในการเข้าเกมแต่ละเกมคือพวกเราต้องเป็นผู้ชนะเท่านั้นครับ Oniki has been synonymous with Kawasaki Frontali's recent rise in the J League since taking charge in February 2017 the 48 year old has won six major competitions Including four league titles, and past success is fueling his passion to pursue future glory. Yeah, not every good one is this. Yeah, but like, oh, constantly, new things to find out, or, um, players' development, and all that. In the process, we leave a mark. It's our style of the club. So, in that sense, we get a lot of pleasure. 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 One of the players looking to step up to the challenge is Thailand international midfielder Chanatip Songkrasin. The 29-year-old made the move to the club last year after spending four and a half years at Hokkaido Consadoli Sapporo. Oh, 
ก็น่าจะหลายๆเรื่องไม่ว่าจะเป็นเรื่องอการดูดันในการเล่นแล้วก็ได้เรียนรู้หลายๆเรื่องของระบบของคอสกิครับそうです徐々に調子も上がってきてますし、やっぱりこうちょっと怪我でね、あの出遅れてしまっているところはありますけども、ただこの苦しい、えー、きついトレーニングにも徐々に入ってこれているので、うん、当然期待してますし、あのー、なんだろう、ピッチに立てばね、あの違いを出せる選手なので、彼のこう技術を、うん、フロンターレの力にしてほしいなとそういう思いはありますね。Kawasaki Frontale will begin the new season against champions Yokohama F Marinos in what has been billed as a blockbuster encounter. A win will give either side a massive psychological boost for the title challenge. Yeah, やっぱり昨年のチャンピオンですし、そういう意味でとチャンピオンにどういう戦いができるかというものは大きなあのなんですかね。そこからのシーズンの入りとしては重要なゲームになると思うので、えー、いろんなね考え方の方いますけども、34分の1と、えー、捉える人もいれば、うん決勝戦の、えー、ようにと、えー、いう思いもありますし、自分はやっぱりすごく勝負にこだわっていきたいなと思います。จริงๆแล้วทุกๆการชนะมันก็มีความหมายแน่นอนว่าการนัดแรกเราเจอมาริโนสมันเป็นนัดแรกที่เล่นนัดแรกของเจลิกด้วยแน่นอนว่าถ้านัดแรกเราได้รับชัยชนะแน่นอนว่ามันน่าจะเพิ่มความมั่นใจให้กับทีมเราสุคาวาซากิฟรอนทาลีอร์เรดี้ทูรอร์อีกแล้วและการชนะในวันเปิดงานอาจจะเป็นจุดเริ่มที่คาตาลิสต์ต้องการต่อให้ได้รับการชนะในวันเปิดงาน Still in Okinawa, it's time to catch up with Nagoya Grampus. They finished eighth in the league, but together with champions Yokohama F Marinos, they had the joint best defense record of conceding just 35 goals in 34 matches. With a sound backline, the priority is on the front line to deliver for this campaign. そうですね、まあ、名古屋の強みであるやっぱり守備力というところはしっかりと生かしつつ、えー、それに攻撃力というところ決めきる決定力というところが、まあ、今シーズンどこまで高めていけるかどうか、まあ、そこでやっぱり勝負はしていきたいなというふうに思ってます。And was part of the Urawa Red Diamond squad that won the Emperor's Cup, and he's keen on replicating that winning experience with his new teammates. I, I really like it here in Japan. Of course, I like living here. I like the culture, but also I think like I still need to do better in the J League. I want to do better. Uh, I had a good first season where we won the Emperor's Cup, and the second season we went to the ACL final. So, like I think. The third season, I, I want to do something again like this. I want to win something. Um, but in general, my motivation is to to prove that I want to be one of the best strikers in in the J League. In Kenta Hasegawa, Grampus have an accomplished manager. He won the J2 title with Gamba Osaka in 2013, and the following year he led them to a domestic treble by winning the J1 title. The Empress Cup and the J League Yamazaki Nabisco Cup, and the 57-year-old has the players in tune with his coaching philosophy. He's a very good coach. He gives the players a, a lot of freedom to to play to their strengths, which is which is very important. I feel um, he has a lot of trust in the players, so this really does help us when we go out there. We have the the freedom and the the belief that we can uh, you know affect the game and change the game um, through our performances and through through what we're good at. Um, I think he has a very good relationship with the players. Um, we feel that, and and he's the type of coach that you want to play for. Grampus won their only league title back in 2010, 
and Hasegawa has his eyes firmly set on the biggest prize this season. The preparations sound right. Now, Hasegawa's charges need to get the result. Nagoya Grampus may just be one of the dark horses in the J-League title race for this season. Still in Okinawa, we take a look at Hokkaido Consadoli Sapporo. Since winning the J2 League title back in 2016, they've been punching above their weight among the elite in Japanese club football. They're into their seventh consecutive year in J1, the longest they've managed in the club's history. Consadoli have also been bold in their outlook. Back in 2017, they signed Thailand international midfielder Chanatip Songrasin, the first player from Southeast Asia to play in J1. After spending four and a half seasons with the club, Chanatip then made the high-profile move to Kawasaki Frontali. Last year, they got on board another promising Thai talent, Superchok Sarachat. The 24-year-old midfielder is known for his pace and often adds an exciting dimension up front. Still, the early experience in Japan was a steep learning curve. จริงๆก็เป็นเป็นเรื่องอาจจะเป็นเรื่องความเข้าใจในเกมที่ผมยังไม่ทันได้เค้าเรียกอะไรมาตอนครึ่งครึ่งเล็กที่แล้วมันก
あのそれは非常にワクワクしてるし。Kagawa made his professional debut with Cerezo Osaka back in 2006 and was the top scorer in J2 in 2009 before making the move to Europe. Now at 33 years of age, he's keen to make a final flourish to what has already been a glittering career. 間違いなく今年はね去年よりいい成績をあの残せると信じてますし、そのベースであったりあの戦い方っていうのは自分自身もまあ去年のサッカーも見させてもらったりしながら、まあそこに自分がどう加わってまた新しいものを生み出していけるか。まあ、そういうイメージを日々今している段階でえその中でやっぱり目標をねあの掲げている上でそれを達成したいですしあのまあそれプラスアルファあの来年だったり再来年あのもっともっと僕たちがチームとしてえ大きく飛躍していけるようにあのまあそういう意味では今年の1年はすごく非常に重要な1年になると思ってますし。One of the most famous faces of Japanese football is back in the J League. If the past is anything to go by, do expect Shinji Kagawa to make more headlines in the upcoming season. Yokohama F Marinos are back at the top, and they're aiming for a sixth J League title. F Marinos face arguably their biggest challenger, Kawasaki Frontale, in the Kanagawa Derby on opening night. It's all pointing to yet another fascinating J League season, and kickoff is on the 17th of February. <laughs>